Hey guys, Sashin Governor here, all the way from Durban, South Africa, 20 years old. I got started off in the network marketing industry about two and a half years ago when I was 18 years old. And uh, you know, I'm just creating this video right now for you to help you win big, just not in network marketing, but in business alone. Very simple. Um, the video that's being made right now is to help you clear objections as well as close people after a presentation. I've managed to close eight out of 10 people and I've managed to grow a team from 113 people that I personally recruited to almost 3,300 in about 15 to 20 different countries worldwide. So very simple. It is working. The strategy is working. I do this on a, very, on a daily basis. Um, you know, after a presentation, there's only two things I ask people. There's two things that is already a buying question that I know the answer to. The first question that I ask someone is, what did you love best, travel, business, or both? See, I'm only giving them three options. I'm either saying you love the travel, I'm either saying you love the business, or you can probably only say you love both. There's no way you can say, I don't love anything, or this is not for me. And um, you know, most importantly, the second question is, do you have any questions, or are you ready to get started? See, the reason why I ask, do you have any questions is, because my goal is very simple is to cut through all the excuses and get straight to the point. It's either a yes or it's a no. I also realized two out of 10 people sign up on the spot. But that being said, we can convert that eight right now, depending on how we close. See, the, the, the good part about this is you need to ask buying questions. So I've got seven objections that we're gonna go through real quickly, seven common objections in network marketing and also in the company that I'm in, World Ventures. The first question is, I don't have the time. See, when someone tells me I don't have the time, I basically say, we're both adults right here. I didn't have the time when I first got started off, but I realized we can either be bragging about it or complaining about it. We can't be celebrating the fact that we don't have time. See, because everyone, everyone has 24 hours in a day. And I realized if you didn't have the time six months ago, and you don't have the time today, what won't you have six months from today? See, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started here. We're gonna start making an income and buying back some of the time that you previously wasted or some of the time that you're not just getting, you're not getting quality time of. See, this is what you wanna do. Do you wanna spend quality time with your family or your children? Or do you wanna give your children leftover time? So the second objection is, I wanna do my own research. When someone says, Sashin, I want to do my own research, I say, great. I really respect that. I also wanted to do my own research in the beginning. But I also realized that facts is always better than opinions. And, I mean, if you're willing to buy into someone's opinion, you would need to buy into their lifestyle. So I've got some factual information for you. I would then go out there and probably email them some facts. Or either or, I would get a company magazine. And as you can see, I've just picked up a company magazine. This has all the success stories. So all the success stories worldwide. And what I basically do here is I'll put this in front of them and I'll get them to read it whilst they're in front of me. Or what you could do is you can actually give this to them, get them to take it home and tell them, is it possible if I can fetch this from you tomorrow at six o'clock? See, number one, you know that you fetch in the magazine. And number two, you also know you're getting a yes or no from them exactly when you meet them. So it's not like, hey, you know what? I'm going to run away from you. Or whenever I see you, I'm going to run in the opposite direction. It's basically you're getting a yes or no. The third objection is, I don't have the money. And you know that, that's, a common, that's a common objection. A lot of people say, hey, I don't have the money. And uh, you know I just realized when I'm closing someone, I actually say, guess what? I also don't have the money. And it costs you 360 US dollars to get started off in business with me, which is about $1 a day. How do we feel as adults that we haven't saved $1 a day for the year? See, because if we didn't have that dollar a day last year, and we didn't have it this year, what won't we have six months from today? One US dollar. So, you know, we can either be the person that actually says, I'm going to sell something so I can actually get started off. We can be the second person that says, I want to borrow the money exactly how I borrowed the money. Or we're going to be the third person who says, 
I want to watch this become the next Microsoft of travel and wish I could get started off or even regret getting started, not getting started off. Okay, the next one is I'm not into sales or I can't sell anything. <laughs> I actually had someone who asked me that recently or, or you know, told me I'm not into sales, I don't have, you know, I don't have the ability to sell anything. And I turned around and I said, great, have you shared a movie with anyone before? And they said, yes. I said, did you get paid for it? They said, no. I said, have you eaten at a good restaurant? They said, yes. I said, did that restaurant call you in for a free meal after you told a few friends and family about it after they went out and ate at the restaurant? They said, no. I said, we're walking, talking billboards for other people's products. It's time we get paid for it. Who built Facebook? Is it you and I? Or was it Mark Zuckerberg? See, Zuckerberg built the platform to Facebook. But you and I went out and marketed Facebook for him. We made him a multi-billionaire. But the difference is, when I look at this is, I look at we getting compensated to share this idea with people and let them, re let them know that you can travel at wholesale prices instead of retail and over and above that, own a business for 360 US dollars. So when someone says I'm not into sales, you turn around and say, hey, you're networking for free and you're marketing someone else's product for free. We're basically selling something. See, you guys need to know there's two things out there. you either selling a product or you're selling yourself. You're selling a product for someone else or you're selling, the, you're selling the fact that people should hire you to work for them. The fourth, the fourth objection, I need to talk it over with my spouse. See, that's a bit of a touchy issue. And uh, you know, when someone actually tells me that, I say I respect that 100%. But you know, is that, is that a way for you to just tell me no or are you really serious about it? And if they say, yes, I am serious, I'll say, great. I know you can never explain this to your spouse. So what is the chance of me coming over for about 20 minutes to run the idea by them and let them know the facts as opposed to you going home and trying to explain this to them? And the, seven, the sixth objection is, I want to get my four before I sign up. <laughs> you know, that's a funny way. That's a funny objection because, you see, when you really look at that, for me, that's like the person indirectly telling me, I don't believe in myself. And... You know, I just told someone recently, I said, imagine how you would feel if I told you, you need to get your four first and then I'll start working with you. So there's two things we can do right now. You can get started. You can do a fast start training with me and I'll help you show your first few people so we can get your four. Or what you can do is you can go out there today, try and get your four, but with the mindset that you're walking in the presentation, your four people will first tell you, I need to get my four first before I need to get started. So what you will basically need is 16 members to join for you to get your first four to waive your monthly fees. And the seventh objection is, is it a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Funny enough, whenever someone mentions the word multi-level marketing or network marketing, people, you know, they assume pyramid scheme. So I'm going to ask you the question, exactly how I would ask my prospect the question after they say, is it a pyramid scheme? I would ask you, what is your definition of a pyramid scheme? Most people, in fact, 99% of the people don't even know the definition of a pyramid scheme. So I would uneducate, I would educate the uneducatedness. I would basically say, the factual definition of a pyramid scheme is exchange for income with no product or service. See, our product is called Dream Trips and our service is called Rovia. Are we legit? 100%. Permit schemes are illegal. And then they basically say, no, a permit scheme is when the guy on the top makes all the money. So I'll get out a blank piece of paper, and exactly what I'm about to draw on this whiteboard right now is what I would draw on the white on, on a blank piece of paper. So I would basically tell them. I would basically tell them this is the previous network marketing companies. This is levels. So if this is John right now, this is Mike, this is Sean, and this is Alan, you would just see that John will leverage of Mike, Sean, and Alan. Mike will leverage of Sean and Alan. Sean will leverage of Alan, but the last guy in Alan can never leverage of Sean, Mike, and John. Then I would go straight to corporate. I will say in corporate there's a CEO, there's a director, there's a manager, 
and right in the bottom is your hard working employees. Ask them the question, who makes all the money? They always say the CEO. So I basically say, if the CEO dies tomorrow, he still gets paid. If the employees die tomorrow, he never gets paid. So what is the difference between this and this? It's the exact same thing. It's the hierarchy. How does World Ventures differ from these two structures right here? World Ventures works on a binary system. Binary is two. So in this case, left team, right team. If this is Sashin right here, Sashin has a left team and a right team. Let's just say Sashin goes out there today and he signs up his best friend by the name of Alan. Alan would also have a left team and a right team. See, whatever Alan does on his left, whatever Alan does on his right, is only beneficial to Sashin on his right team. So in this case, our company basically says, when you go out there and you introduce this idea to six people, we will pay you 750 US dollars. Okay? And we get paid in two ways. Number one, we get paid in personal sales. Number two, we get paid in T bonuses. What is a personal sale? A personal sale is you personally introducing someone to the business. So Sashin went out there today and he introduced Alan to the business. Every time Sashin personally introduces one person, he would get paid 50 US dollars. Let's just say today Alan goes out and he goes out and introduces six people. He puts three people on the left team and he puts three people on the right team. Every time you personally introduce someone to the business, you make 50 US dollars. So in this case, Sashin would have introduced Alan and got paid 50 dollars. Alan went out and introduced six. So how much does Alan get paid? 50 times six, 300 US dollars. Okay? Our company says whenever you introduce six people, we'll pay you a personal sales bonus of 250 US dollars. So that being said, our company also says when you have three people on your left team and three people on your right team, we will pay you a total of 200 US dollars. Every single time your team grows to six people, a balance of three on the left and three on the right, we'll pay you $200. So next week, these three introduce one each and these three introduce one each. You've got a total of six new members. Alan will get paid 200 US dollars. So basically, when these three grow to one each, which is an extra three on the left, and these three grow to one each, which is an extra three on the right, Alan will get paid an extra 200 US dollars. So if you look, really look at it, Sashin will have seven on his right because three plus three is six plus Alan is seven and zero on the left. Alan will have three and three. Who gets the $200? It's Alan gets the $200. Let's do the maths. 200 plus 250 is 450. 450 plus 300 is 750. Who gets the 750? When you ask your, your prospect the question, who gets the 750, your prospect will probably say Sashin because they're conditioned to believe the guy on the top makes the money. In this case, you would turn around and say, no, Alan will get 750, Sashin will get a total of 50 US dollars. So every single time I ask people the question, who makes all the money? And they turn around and they say, Sashin, I turn around, no. So which is the fairest system? Is it our system or these two systems? Guys, I really hope this helps you. I hope this helps you get to the next level. I hope this helps you to get to a level where we could both party on the beaches of the world because I realized one thing. In our company, when we learn something, we teach it to people. And when we teach it to people, we win big. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a message on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video with your team. Let's win big in 2015. Not only in 2015, I want to see you on the beaches of the world. Love you guys.